everybody. Welcome back to the Knit for Brains podcast. I'm Alicia Gifford. I'm Laura Brady. And this is our Knitting, Crafting, Everyday Life podcast. I'm daughter. Mother. Granddaughter. Granddaughter. <laughs> we come to you 60 miles south of Chicago, Illinois, in Bradley. It's a rainy day here. It's going to be a rainy week here. It's a Monday. We're a day off. We're a day off because <laughs> of, you know, for the throne. Um... You can find us on Instagram, Etsy, Facebook, www.hitforbrains.com. Ravelry. That a word. It's 9 a.m. <laughs> no. It's 9.30. It's 9.30. It's You're 9:30. supposed to be here at 9 a.m. <laughs> I have a beautiful daughter that <laughs> takes up a little bit extra minutes. No, okie dokie. You have FOs? I have two. Ooh, so do I. I can go with one. Okay. And I wish uh, she was awake so I can show it. Oh. But I can't. She might make it wake up. Here, how can I put my hands in there? So this is the Beloved... There it is. The Beloved Bonnet by Tin Can Knits. It is a paid-for pattern. Um, I made the strings longer there's only supposed to be like six inches and that's not long enough to tie them in my opinion this is the newborn size which actually fits her perfectly i'm i held two strings of yarn together which is somewhere i'm not prepared <sighs> This one is Mia Bella, the purple, and I don't think they have names. It's just purple. And then where's the other one? Here it is. So I held these two together. The purple one is Mia Bella. It does not have a color. And then the top one is uh, Lolo Did It Honey Dukes. So that was held together. And made into that. And I did mess up. That's all right here. Yeah. I messed up. Pointed out. And of course, that's the front of the hat. Well, you would point it out if it was mine. I know. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Peanut doesn't care. I care, but that's okay. It's not really that obvious. To me it is. Phil didn't notice it. No. Okay. You want me to go? Yeah, sure. Why not? Mm, I'll go with my small one first. Which is... Desert Vista Dye Works. Somebody is a good witch. So, Jenny, these will be coming your way soon-ish. Here are my soft blockers by Knitting Left. They came out pretty. They did. So, another pair of socks off the needles. Your turn. You're so fun and exciting. I'm tired. <sighs> I could have stayed in bed another couple hours today. Oh, yeah, me too. Me too, definitely. The high pollen count is yeah. killing me. We could get in high pollen count alerts, mm -hmm. which I don't even need the alerts. I can tell from we my can, we sinuses. Can tell. And then we get, you know, freezing colds with yeah. the winter mix. 61, what, 60 some degrees one day and then 30 with freezing rain the next day. Everybody's sick. And now we had one nice day, which was yesterday. And but it was still windy. It's supposed to rain until Friday. Yeah, but at least we didn't get the snow like yes. Chicago and Wisconsin was supposed to get. They did. And they were supposed to get quite a bit. Yes, three to eight inches. Okay, so this was the first one that I did. This is all the beloved beanie. Uh, bonnet. Bonnet. <laughs> uh, from Tin Can Mitts, Knits. This is a paid for pattern, like I said before, but it does come in, it was $5, and then there was a $0.50 cent 
charge for something. But, um, or was it five cents? It was five cents. It was five cent charge. Because Phil was like, what the heck is that? Um, this one is done in between the newborn and the baby size because supposedly her head is like an inch too small for the baby size. This thing swims on her. Yeah, no. It, nowhere near it. Um, but it does go through all the sizes. So it has toddler and I'm guessing young child and then adults, something like that. And then the newborn. And it's a relatively easy pattern. This one is done in um, Bumblebee Acres. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I have the ball band for that one. Nope, it doesn't look like it. Uh, Bumblebee Acres in their Birdie Bots color. And this is on their Sparkle Bees. Which Peanut wore this when we went to Greencastle and she got to see them. And I believe they'll be at Maryland Sheep and a Wool if you're going Which there. we will have pictures at the end of the podcast of some of the people we met. And Peanut in her hat. Even Peanut though she was swimming. <laughs> she was swimming, but she was adorable. I like that one. It's nice and thick. It is really thick. And all it is is fingering held double. But that fingering, and I'm, I believe there's like silk in it as well. And it, it's just a plumper warmer yarn. All right. I have one more. Oh. If I can get into it. So this I showed the last time and I was really far off from having it done. The yarn is Miss Muffy from Arkansas Yarn Co. I have a little bitty bit left, which I made sure I did because this is going up with um, Muffy's plaque and stuff. Look at the sparkle there. So after many years, hi Peanut. <laughs> Did you know you was at Grandma's? What was you eating that thumb? Please don't. Oh no, she. It wasn't in there. Hi. <laughs> What's going on with your headband here? She says hmm? these are my pirate headbands. They fit, but they don't fit. So, I finally finished my changing staircases shawl. Which is a pattern by Dragon Horn Yarn, Tristan Molina. We have made many of them. Many. And I mainly worked on this because I was a long ways off from finishing. <laughs> it was not very big at all in the last podcast. So... Trying to do this without Alicia. And it keeps going and going. It blocks out really large. And this was just the one skein, which you saw. I didn't even uh, finish all of it. I think it came out beautiful. I think so, too. And this was a nice one. Like, you could wear this with anything. Yes. Very neutral. Hi, the peanut. What's you doing? And uh, Lori had dyed up this yarn after we had lost Little Muffy. So it was kind of a special yarn. So, yeah, I love, love this one. This one really blocked out beautiful. Hi. What's you doing? Did you know we're recording? Did you want to say hi to everybody? Yeah? Did you want to say hi to everyone? <laughs> just smiles. So that was nice to get that finished out of my uh, stack that's in the living room. I have things I haven't finished, which isn't many. Um, I think I might have a pair of slipper socks. I have another shawl. I think that might be it. So I might try to um, get back to one of those soon. So that's all I have for FOs. Do you have any whips? I have two. Oh, look at you go. You want to show? <coughs> You're going to have to excuse all the clearing of the throats and sniffing. 
It's that leather. Okay, so these are something that was in one of the Advents. Um, I know they're Sweet Tea Yarns, and I know the top one is Rainbow Fish. I don't remember what the purple one is. But I am making... <laughs> and I can't fix this, so... Just don't look at the... I don't think they can see it. Um, it's a start of another beloved bonnet. This yes, pizza on there. Yes, I do have a pizza Your on there. Your dad would love that one. Um, I got that from the Stitches Midwest um, swap. Oh, nice. <clears throat> so, what, two years ago yeah. we did the swap? Um, and this one is going to Leah. Alan Lauren's kid. Okay, you gave me a look of, like, who the hell is that? Her bestie. It's her bestie. I was waiting for you to say that. <laughs> and then after that, I'm going to make um, a boy's one for Teddy. Which is Leah's brother. And then I'm going to make another boy's one because the one girl that I work with had her gender reveal, and she's having a boy. Well, this seems to be <clears throat> nice and quick for you and stuff nice you can and actually quick. get done. Yes. So, that's good. I'm using my Lucas. Which is her preferred needle. I My interchangeable set. Can't stand them. They're so nice. Yeah. They're nice and little. I bought that for her a while back. I don't even remember when. Was it for my birthday last year? I don't know. Or was it the year remember. before? Was it for your birthday or was it just because? I think I don't just know. Because. It might have just been just because. That happens a lot. She's Ooh. like, ooh, mom. And I'm like, okay. Because <laughs> I don't have any sets, so. Oh, like she had the. Susan Boy. Yeah. And I, I couldn't do that. Was, yeah, that was about it. So. All right, let me go. Sure. I've got. Start another pair of socks. Because. I finished those other ones. I didn't get very far. I started them when I was babysitting Peanut. And the yarn is Freckled Whimsy. Gingerbread House. No. Something mocha. Oh, it's just the, the chocolate. Peppermint mocha. Peppermint mocha. <laughs> like something mocha. So, there's that. Like I said, I just barely got them going because hey, somebody was a little fussy that day when I was there. I wonder who that is. The dog. Yeah, yeah, it was the dog. It was poor friends. Packer. But I did get a few stripes done already. They're really pretty. It is pretty. So I think I barely got like a little brown, <laughs> the variegated, <laughs> the pink, and then the red. So. And I haven't worked on these at all. I was going to pick them up the other day. And I was like, no, I need to save these for Vegas. Yeah. Because i got to have socks for Vegas. So these will probably be my Vegas socks. They'll be moved into my Vegas bag. Well, once I make it. And, <laughs> hey, I got the fabric. Up I saw top. that. I saw that you put, um, moved it up top. I haven't decided what, um, what style. No, I'm going to do uh, just the simple drawstring. No interface, no nothing. Because it's. You can crumble them up and just fit them in anywhere. Um, I haven't decided what interior fabric to use. So, I don't think it really matters because there's so many colors. But I would do a neon. Um, I have to go to the fabric store. Like that bright purple. Yeah. That's on the palm tree. Did you want to show the fabric since we're talking about it? Because they're going, what fabric? I got this, I think, last year. Yeah. It's of the, of the strip, right? I think so. the palm tree, the flamingo. I got this at their um, quilt store. And I thought I would make a Vegas sock bag. Since we go to Vegas every year, might as well have a sock bag. So for I'm kind of waiting last minute because we leave Sunday. <laughs> yep. But I was busy doing other sewing so 
And it kind of crept up on me. I don't think I realized how quick it was coming. <laughs> me either. I keep then, on trying not to remember. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then uh, I have a lot of days where I watch Peanut too. So yes. that kind of cuts in a little bit. I just know I'm going to be <clears throat> worthless next week. <laughs> like my my brain is just going to be wiped. All right, you want to show another one? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. I'll do this bag next then. I love these bags. We this, both have, are using this is our bags like, from Random Fandom. I got two of them. And the one. I would buy more. They're <laughs> just... They're easy. They're so easy. Wow, it's big. And it fits his foot perfectly. Huh. I think there that is... is huge. Uh, you want me to count real quick? Forty-two stitches on each needle. Wow! And it fits his foot perfectly. That's why the stripes. Oh, you're using the high highest. What do you think? I'm okay with them. You don't have holes in your fingers yet. No, no. Like I've poked myself a couple times. Oh, where I'm like, ow, that's a little hurt. What size are you using? Uh, size one. Okay. Those are the small size. That would also be why you have so many stitches too. Well, those are... I like the stitch definition. Yeah. Look at it. It looks so nice. Yes, I'm just saying. So, these are for Philip. He asked for socks. Um, and I've been trying... I've, I've just been trying it on his foot as I go. I'm just like, <laughs> give me your foot. And you just do it when he's sleeping. He, he won't wake up. And he... Um, it's perfect. That's Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear <laughs> Star Command by Beloved Adoria. But um, the color, which I made sure that I grabbed the actual thing, that's not it. <laughs> I don't know how I found this lady, but it's Neely's Knits. Mm -hmm. And it's Bears Beats Battlestar Galactica, which is an office reference. So, and Philip loves the office. So I thought they were perfect. And I asked him. Because Philip is colorblind. <laughs> um, only some colors. But I asked him, I said, how many colors do you see here? And he said, I see three. I said, okay, so we're good. Because <laughs> when I first started, because it was the two browns next to each other, mm -hmm. I was like, is this only two colors? Because I couldn't, I couldn't tell. But <clears throat> I think it's uh, going pretty good. I worked on it for the entire Avengers. Me and Peanut and Packer slept. Well, we tried to. The two of them slept perfectly. <laughs> Grandma, however, ever. She went back to sleep. We got like so many needles in here. The sweater takes two sets of circulars, a set of DPNs. <laughs> yeah. So, I am doing the. Baby Tea Leaves, which is a paid-for pattern, mm -hmm. for Peanut, out of the um, cotton that, oh, you guys haven't seen this yet. So this is kind of an acquisition as well. Um, this is cotton that I purchased at Dreamcastle. And it is, oh, I hope I put the thing in there. I did. Knitting Notions? Knitting Notions, yes. Katherine Harrison. Why oh, that isn't focusing? Yeah, at any rate. So I bought two skeins of it, but I'm still actually on the first skein. <clears throat> but the pattern did call for two. So, and I, I'm going to definitely go into the second one. I'm not going to... Use all. Use all of it. So, <laughs> let me get my. Dear Lord. Okay, hold on here. Bear with me, guys. 
I stuck DPNs in and things are okay. We're just going to go with it. So there it is so far. I'm on the first sleeve, which really I don't have, but a little bit more to go mm -hmm. because they're three quarter length sleeves. And then I just have to do the other sleeve and then pick up on each one of the fronts to do the bands in the front. So it was a very quick <coughs> knit. What it, size is that? It would have been done by now. <laughs> um, I did size. So this comes in size <clears throat> 0 to 6, 6 to 12, 12 to 18, and 18 to 24. I did the 0 to 6. And it looks good size. Yes. So <clears throat> that way she'll get a, um, quite a bit of use out of it. Because I had knit her... Um, the baby vertebrae before she was even born and she has worn that a lot um they didn't have this particular place only had the cotton uh the undyed cotton you don't know that we didn't really look well no i did i went in there um like as far as at the event they might have at the event they only had the undyed I don't remember you looking at all the racks. Yeah, I went through their whole booth because I went through back a second time as well. Um, at the event, they only had the undyed, which was fine because it'll go with everything. Um, cotton there was very limited. There wasn't another place that had the cotton, but it was very Rough. crisp. <laughs> this is really, really soft. Yeah. So, I went, and it was a really good price, too. So went with that so yeah I'm not sure when it'll be done because as i said be leaving for vegas sunday so things are kind of be all put on hold until i get back which we record the day after i get back so i probably other than maybe a little bit of progress on some sacks won't have much to show won't have bags for the shop neither so do you have anything else no, I told you two. Okay. And then I have one more. And I've shown this one before. I am working on Your Slip is Showing by Casapunta, which is a paid-for pattern. And I have made some progress. I just started another section. So, I will be working the blue, the blue into it now. You can barely see it at the top. But, it likes to twirl. Don't we all? So, all the way there and where that stitch marker is, right there. That's where I was at last time. So, I did actually add a bit onto it. And I'm going to move that up. This is a really fun knit. It's very, um, it's easy, but it's still interesting. And it's fun to see, like, how the colors come out. So I'm really excited about this next section with it being the, uh, adding into the, going into the blue. So I worked on this the last couple days, even though I should have been working on peanut sweater, finishing that. But, you know, stuff happens. Hey, it happens. It happens. I don't think peanut's going to hate you. <laughs> Oh, so that's all I have on the needles. Well, that I'm working on. <laughs> I have other things on the needles. And there's but. a lot of other holes on the needles. All right. Let me look at my notes here. Let's do some other stuff. Maybe. Um, We have three patterns to give away this time. We're going to start with our usual lady first. So, you be thinking about what you want them to comment. Um, from Amanda Rake Cold Designs, we have two patterns that we will be giving away. The first one is a sock pattern. Um, Braving a Michigan Spring. And it looks like these come in child, small, medium, and large. 
So, good variety of sizes. That is a good variety. Also by Amanda Ray Cole Designs. Oh, I just remembered. I forgot to. No, it's okay. Is the Jackie Shawl. This is pretty. That was pretty. Takes um, two, 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 two skeins of yarn. One of each color. One of each color, it looks like. And what I forgot was I meant to uh, bring the pattern over with me. But I think it might be up on my table. Uh, we had shown the Lorelei cow last time, and we had mentioned about some something else to go with it. It is a set. She has fingerless mitts that go with the cow and socks. So I am actually going to do those as well. So we have these two patterns to give away. And then we also, from uh, Laura Concert, who's crocheting Hoovian, we have the Life Changes Shawl. So these will be our three giveaway patterns this time. And I believe all these patterns are on Ravelry currently. And I believe, Laura, you'd have to go to her... Um, podcast group on Ravelry, but I believe she is running a cow for this as well. So. I believe so. Um, how do you want them to enter? Uh, tell us your what you're most excited about summer. Summer's coming. What are you most excited about? Alrighty, so comment below about what are you looking forward to for summer. <coughs> Alrighty. Um, She's content, so let's go ahead and do coupon codes. Are we podcasting on Mother's Day? Yeah. You'll be spending time with your mother then. <laughs> Unless we do it on that Monday. We'll talk about it. Yeah, we'll talk about it. Okay. Coupon codes, my love. Our first one is for Show Real Studios. If you use the code KFB20, you'll get 20% off. <clears throat> the next one is for Whips on Sticks. You'll get 10% off with the code KFB10. Skyly Knits Fiber Arts on Etsy. You will get 15% off with the code KFB19. Um, Amanda Rate Cole on Ravelry, you will get 20% off with the code KFB19. The Tangled Skein CA, you'll get 15% off with the code K4B15. <laughs> Alright, you want to tell them about our, our knit along we're running? There's a knit along going on. <clears throat> Until Mother's Day. It ends the 11th. The 11th. Before Mother's Day. Unless Mom forgets to close it. No, because, well, we should be announcing it on Mother's Day, the winners. Um, might be that Monday. Just depends. Um, whether, if we don't record till Monday, I will probably leave it open for Monday for <laughs> Mother's Day. But the actual end date is the, the 11th. So It's the minis. Minis. Mini cow. Mini cow. If you use five mini skeins or five colors, you can use full skeins if you want to. If you got the balls to do it, just do it. Five colors in a project. It qualifies. It qualifies. That means, you know, scrappy socks. But if hats. you use one of our patterns, for yes. example, if the Winter Wonderland of Minis hats, you get twice. You enter it twice onto the Ravelry page. Post it twice into the thread, and you get double the entry. Also, if you would happen to want to knit the... The Canadian Friends Cow. By Cherry Pie Cottage, you can enter it into our cow and her cow, which yeah. goes until the end of May. There you go. <laughs> so there's that. All right. We're going to show you a couple things for the shop. Before we move on to purchases. Which there's a lot. Yeah. Alrighty. So we have got some nerdy alpaca bags for you today. Yep. 
We, we saw it. We had to get it. They are our medium size snap bag with the handle. And it's got this fun, vibrant yellow on the inside. Nice, bright yellow. Because everyone needs a little brightness in their life. And they do come with the needle keeper. Yep. So, we have four of these. I did have a couple more bags to show you, but... Um, <laughs> I listed bags last night in the shop, and you guys know me so well that I do my listings on Sunday that one of the bags sold out already. Yeah. So. Sorry about that. Sorry. <laughs> we do. However, this has not been spotted yet because my jumbo bags usually sell right away. Yep. I have the burgundy jumbo bag. And this thing is huge. Has the six pockets inside. It is definitely a sweater slash blanket sized bag. Yep. There's only one of these. I don't make a whole lot of jumbo ones. They're more costly. Every once in a while here and there I'll, I'll, I'll throw one in and typically they sell out pretty darn quick. So just the one burgundy. And then that's all I have for the shop. And then Alicia... Yours is done. Yay. Which is the jumbo. With handles. With handles. Now, I didn't mention on that jumbo, it does have this on the inside, so I'll just show you on hers. Where you can hang either progress keepers, or if you're using it as a um, purse slash knitting bag, you could even clip your keys on there. A pacifier. A pacifier. <laughs> Whatever you think you might want to clip on there, you can. <laughs> So, I just figured I'd show you with hers. So, that one goes with you. Thank you, Mom. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I have a little bit more acquisitions than you. So, let me start. And then, when I get down to the gifts that we both got into Greencastle, then we'll cut you in. Okay? Okay. Uh, let's just do the Rena section first. Because the bag's right here. Okay. So, uh-oh, that happened. I got another bag from Savers, and I'm sure this is, like, the same from the same lady. There was, like, six bags of them. Well, I wanted the ones that had, like, the, um, the sock yarn. And I'm like, oh, I know that yarn, but I can't place it. No. But I've seen that before. So, there's some really... Pretty ones here. So these will either be like scrappy, um, this one's pretty too. Might go in my scrappy blanket, might be scrappy socks. It just depends. I just pick it up here and there and I always need the uh, scraps for stuff. And then I really didn't need this, but it was 99 cents. And why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Sugars and cream, but this is their super size one. Nice. Yeah, for 99 cents. So. Okay, and then I got these, and people laugh, but sometimes you see things that, you know, don't need to be what they actually are. So I bought some wine oh. I bought some wine markers. I don't even drink wine. But they're really cute, so they're going to be taken off of the wine marker ring. And be made into progress keepers. <laughs> because that's what I do. But there's a little snowman. There's a nutcracker. I figured you'd like the little nutcracker. Oh, it's like nutcrackers? Yeah. So, yeah, when you're thrifting, think about stuff like that. The wine charms, uh, necklaces and bracelets I have been known to take apart. Earrings. Earrings are a good one. They make good progress keepers. And sometimes you can get stuff that's really cute that you couldn't just order the charms. Yeah. And you figure, I paid $1.99 for these. And I'm going to get one, two, three, four, five, six progress keepers. Yeah. So, not bad at all. So, sometimes, yeah, I will repurpose things. Okay. Oh. So, that's that. Then, and then... I went to, hmm, I don't have a card with me. That's okay. I showed it last time. Yes. 
I went to Yarn Hollow again um, Friday night for their knit night. So while I was there, I knew you would have picked up something. I did pick up another stain of the oh. uh, frobes because I want to make the the socks and the fingerless knits to go with my lower life how. Nice. So I went ahead and I picked up another stain of this. I picked up another set of these Knitter's Pride stitch markers. They're nice. Um, and did you open them? Yeah. Because they're actually, I'm going to open them right here. They're so in the bag. Guys. Which I'm not sure if I will be using these or if I, I might actually put these in the um, giveaway bin. Yeah. Because I like these so well and I would like to share them with you. So they're in this really nice plastic pouch that you can keep them in. Yep. So that was, because uh, if I end up needing more, I can always just pop, pop in there and buy some more. So I think we're going to actually put these in. This will uh, go with the prizes for the cow. Yep. There we go. And then I got these yarn huggers, which I am not keeping. They are for somebody else. Those are cute. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and these do fit a hundred hundred gram nice. cake. Those are cute. But these are being sent off to somebody else. And then I got Alicia something. My cocoa knits? Yep. I saw that she added them, and I was like, oh, Alicia's been wanting these. The cocoa so knits. I went ahead and got her um, the stitch stoppers, because she had, uh, gosh, that was probably about a year ago. Mm -hmm. that you said that, and I saw that, that that she had them, so I went ahead and purchased those for you. Thank you, Mama. You're welcome. All right. So, up next... Nope, I lied. I have a couple purchases. Then we'll go to that one package. <gasps> Ooh. What are we ooing about? What do you think I'm ooing about? Yeah. This one? Yeah. That's the uh, Gilmore Girl. That's pretty. Okay, we'll go with that first. I like that. So, I ordered from Strawberry, Field. Strawberry Fields Yarn, a self-striping yarn. It's just called Gil Gilmore Girls B because there was like, I don't know, two or three different uh, Gilmore Girls self-striping. Only thing I wish is she would have, you know, given them a Gilmore Girls name. name, other than just a generic Gilmore Girls. That's a little disappointing, but... Um, I like these colors. They're different. Yes, very different for me. I figured Ooh. you would be very surprised at what I picked. I really like this one. So, well, you can have the extras if you like it. I, well. I really okay, like I will put you on the list for the extras. Now, in that peppermint mocha, the extras are going oh, to Karen. Care. She put dibs. Take it. Don't care. So. You get it, Karen <clears throat> Debbie. And then anything that anybody else doesn't claim, you should, will probably go to Jen. Well, if Jenny claims it. Jenny, you just have to let me know when you want them. So got this one. So that was really pretty. And I've never had her yarn before, so I thought that was nice. And then I did order from Jenny of Cherry Pie Cottage. She had a sale going on. And Cozy Up Knits has a um, sock pattern coming out May 1st. It's a free sock pattern for DK, so DK weight socks. So I ordered Jenny's DK socks on the Kentucky Rain, which I'm using Kentucky Rain um, on the fingering in my shawl, mm -hmm. and because I love this color. <laughs> so when that pattern comes out, these will be turned into socks. I'd say that Phil would like some DK weight socks, but I'd need two skeins. Yeah. Well, and it's not like a... No. You know, so... I guess I'm sniffing here. Stop it. She uses a, um, a nice wash. Anyhow. Okay, so those were my purchases. So not too, too bad. Then, Alicia and I received birthday gifts. You want to go first since it was actually was your birthday? Yes, it was my birthday. <laughs> you, can, I got, you can show okay. everything. I got mine a little, a little early. So, I received... Sorry, baby. Wonderful packages from Jenny of Cherry Pie Cottage. And in there was a package for Alicia. I'm going to start with the smaller stuff first. Magnet. Ministry of Magic Mag Magnet. That's cute. It's a a magnet. Japanese style magnet. 
So we got a kick out of these. They're cool. They're transparent. Semi-transparent sticky paper page marker. Those are really cute. And they're sheep. And, and there's a little llama or alpaca or something at the bottom. And there's sheep at the top. And sheep at the top. Yeah, we thought that was really I cool. I think those are cool. Okay. For the yarn, Alicia got punk watermelon and a fingering sock, which this is so Alicia. It really is. It's and really I was telling her I have seen the um, punk watermelon knit up, and it is beautiful. I can't wait. And then she received... Wasn't all one of Jenny's bags. This is um, let me open it up a little bit. This is her small size, which she has um, sizable bags just like I do. So the small isn't no terribly small, and it has the um, Disney princesses, mm -hmm. it's their which movie is photo. so Alicia yes, <laughs> with the polka dot handle and inside. I enjoy them. Yeah, I mean, Great would. gift. Thank you. And then, because they went to Bucky's, which we will explain that because we have to taste something, which I think she's a little nervous. I don't like tasting things. Is the Bucky's sticker. And in the shape of Texas. And it's glittery pink. So very Alicia fitting. <laughs> I'll put that in there. Oops. Look at that. I was trying to steal your things. <laughs> All right. So that was Alicia's. And then I also got a package. All right, in my package, which there's little notes on here, share with Alicia. You got some stitch markers from, let's see, Notions by A Lovely Handmade Life. Let me show that. And they're all different Texas themed. There's a pistol, the shape of Texas, a cowboy hat, a horseshoe. Look how cute. I got, oh, it's a Japanese magnet. Those. Now my magnet <laughs> is Gilmore Girls. So perfect. And then another note to share with Alicia. Some hockey. All right, and then my yarn, which she knew I loved this. Well, even if I hadn't favored it, she knows I would have loved it because of the blue. Hi, Peanut. What's Grandma's girl doing? <laughs> so this one <coughs> is on her 7525 fingering sock, and it is called Dusk. And guys, it is gorgeous. Look at all the different blue tones. I love it. And then my bag. Because <laughs> of our little unicorn, huh? And I loved this fabric, and she knew. Oh, that fabric is awesome. so cute. Got a little unicorn bag. So now that I've shown it on the podcast. You can use it. I'm going to cake up some more yarn for some socks. <laughs> and put some socks in there. So, loved that. It was such a fun package and the thoughtfulness uh, that was put into it. And my Gilmore Girls is going up in my fridge. <laughs> you know, I was excited when I saw that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, then she also sent, and I promised her I wouldn't open them. I wouldn't try them until the podcast. I'm nervous because I don't know what they are. Oh. Is it is it sweet? Is it it's like a corn puff kind of thing? 
sent us beaver nuggets from Bucky's. Okay, we gotta open this. Is it like so, a caramel? Yes. Okay, Hold on, okay. let me see. Yeah, because there's brown sugar, corn okay, okay. syrup. That's why I didn't know why, why you were so nervous. Because the, you said beaver nuggets, and all I was thinking was like dried meatballs. Um, like like a jerky meatball. That's you all I was thinking. You scissors on you, do you? <laughs> Uh, long bag. <laughs> yeah, I, Alicia was scared because of the name. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. Yeah, I probably should have sent you a picture of them so you weren't so nervous. Yeah, because I'm like, I'm going <laughs> what to weird smell what, it. You're going to be like, be... what weird thing am I, are they trying to make me eat? <laughs> like, all I was picturing was something that resembled reindeer droppings. Okay, these might be good for um, yarn, but not so much for a bag. But Ooh, I got it. Wonderful in there. for yarn. I, oh, those are my favorite scissors. I have a, I have a pair as well. Oh yeah, take a sniff. <laughs> no, no, no. It reminds excited. me of something. Okay, here you go. Reminds me of a cereal. Almost like um caramel popcorn, but like um, but like puffs, mm -hmm. like uh corn corn cornflake, not corn corn puffs. Uh, gotta have my puffs. Yeah, that's well, cereal. Caramel, I don't know. It's got like a sweet outer texture to them. It's not caramel. Your dad's gonna go crazy over these. He already eyeballed them when they came in. Mm -hmm. Good. Because he, he loves um corn puffy things. I'll just take a small sandwich bag of them. I was just gonna say when we um when we're done, I will bag you up some. Oh, what they're sending you off. So Jenny and Jared, you're right, they're delicious. They're amazing. Mm-hmm. Well, and Lori knew about them too. Because Lori uh, was from Texas originally. Of course she is. So, well, you know, she says y'all. Jenny and Jared say y'all. Should have known. Should have known. Um, and she's like, oh, Bucky's Beaver Nuggets. Those are amazing. <laughs> well, I saw on, because um, I want to go to Texas because. We are talking about it. I want to go to Magnolia. And then I also want to go to the family business restaurant. And I want to go to a bunch of restaurants. And including in these restaurants, there's a CeCe's Pizza there that it's a $50 pizza and it's a two person challenge. And that thing looks like easy. <laughs> looks so easy. Philip and dad could do it in a heartbeat. Now see, we're, <clears throat> we'd be about the barbecue and I've heard Rudy's is the barbecue, barbecue mm -hmm. place in Dallas to go to. So I want to go to Magnolia farms. See Chip and Joe. <laughs> All right. So yeah, very delicious. We're just gonna we need to put them away because we're gonna keep sitting here eating them. Oh man, man. Okay, yeah. so let me tuck that back there. All right. You know what? Mm -hmm. The farmers market opens up this month mm -hmm. of May. Yeah. Cattle corn. Yeah. See, that's kind of what this reminds me of. Yeah, but the texture reminds well, me. Well, the texture is different. Yeah, but as as far as the caramel kind of. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> you don't have any normal acquisitions, right? That you've purchased? Yes. Outside of Green Castle? Yes. Okay, why don't you do those then? Because I went to Michael's. Oh, yeah, I forgot. About I that. got some cheap yarn. Which doesn't mean that it's not good yarn. It's just not as pricey. I use my 40% off coupon because there is always a 40% off coupon. Okay, I hate to always do this. What? But that yarn that's right next to the, the blue cake. Mm -hmm. You want me to go grab it real quick? What is that? It's really pretty. On top or the one underneath with the... With the pastelis. Yeah. <clears throat> is that a new one? That's the one that Aunt Linda got you. It's the Grocery Girls Hue Loco. Okay. I need to do that into the um, Grocery Girl Shop. 
do we sit here and say, and I tend to look over there every once in a while, and I'm like, it's like I'm rediscovering my yard. <laughs> and Alicia's always so patient about it. Mm. She's like, do you want me to go grab that? Okay, so the first thing that she got, which is very fitting, because of our little unicorn. And I might go back and get the Narwhal one. Oh. But I like to use the 40% off coupons when it's a full price. So I make your dad go with me. He has the app on his phone, too. <laughs> but um, this one is the Unicorn, and it's by DMC. And I think it's like five bucks or something. To Maybe it's like ten bucks to get. I don't remember. Oh. <laughs> Do but, you like the Unicorn? Oh, peanut. So I figured that would be nice. Oh, I should probably tell you. Originally $7. I got it for $4.20. There you go. That's a great deal. Yep. Nice cheap hat. And then I hit up oh, their clearance. There's the picture that shows you what the hat will look like. I think I thought it knit up well. I hit the clearance because I knew that these would be on clearance because nobody was buying them, which I don't understand. I actually almost bought some. And they they were originally seven ninety nine. You know what you could do, because that's worsted, right? Uh, or yeah. is it DK? It's worsted. You could do some of um, the Mrs. Brown's hats. Yeah, that would be perfect for it. Yeah. Uh, they're on clearance for three dollars and ninety seven cents. Originally seven ninety nine, so you can't use a coupon on them, but they're awesome. These are the Karen and Pantone. Right now they have they have a different they have bamboo ones out right now that has bamboo in it. These is um actually it's bulky. It says that it's bulky. That doesn't look very bulky. Mm -mm. I'd, I'd consider I would it consider, a, yeah, I would say it's worsted. Sixty percent acrylic, twenty percent nylon, and twenty percent merino wool. So I got strawberry chill and it's just a section of minis. Um, I don't know how many, like how big it is. Uh, 127 yards. Three and a half ounces. 100 grams. There you go. I got blushing coral. And then I got fuchsia foliage. And I might go back and get a few more. They have ones that are all the same color, so all grays or all purples. and It's like a gradient. Yeah. Well, no, it's not a gradient. No? It's just all the same oh. color. Oh, okay. Um, so I might get a couple. They had a couple different blue ones. Okay. Yeah. All right. So everything we have left is from... Greencastle. Greencastle. So we met Melissa there of Honey Bee Nets. And of course, we always exchange uh, stuff. And Karen went with us. And Karen went with us. So let's go ahead and show what Melissa gifted us. Oh, well, let me get my minis. Okay. I got my minis on her worker bee base, and mine are on the sparkle. Which I'm going to go ahead and show. I'm going to pair it up with this. And it's going to be the Life Changes Shawl from Laura. It's going to be pretty. <laughs> and then I got Major Nelson on Sparkle. That one's so pretty. Look how beautiful. I got the May 2019 Holiday Sock Set, which is Cinco de Mayo. That's really pretty too. And this is on her sparkle as well. You know, this would like sparkle. We love sparkle. All right. Do you want to show your purchases from Green Castle? Do you want me to take her? Yeah, sure. Hey, Peanut. Wink, wink. <laughs> she said, mm. I think if she wakes up, she's going to want to be fed. So. Oh, I also got to show what Melissa gave me. What did she give you? Link it. Oh, yeah. So, Melissa knitted this blanket for Olivia. <laughs> I'm 
Okay, tell us how you feel. <laughs> Which has this amazing braid down the center of it. And it's done in a cotton. It was supposed to be done in pink, but the people sent her blue. But I am okay with that because we put a bow on Olivia so people don't ask her if it's a boy or a girl. So we are good there. And it's cotton, so it'll be nice for the summer. Mm -hmm. Nice blanket for the summer. Okay. People can hear you breathing. Okay, so I got Color Work by Tate de Marton Yarns. Um, this is French. It's all in French. But it's Tat Sock, which is 100% superwash merino, and it's in this rose gold color called Meridi. This is probably the most expensive thing that I bought. It was $35.50. But it happens. I've never used this before, and I've never had a color like this before. It was the only one that I saw like that there. So I got it. There we go. I got a Toy Story mini skein set from Sweet Tea Yarns. Um, I love these. I love them a lot. Um, she does a new Disney every month. So I got Woody, Buzz, Ham, Rex, Slinky Dog, and Alien. And they're awesome. I love it. Absolutely love it. This was a new dyer there. Farm Girl Fibers. It was her first show. And she is on Etsy. And she's on Instagram. Farm Girl Fibers. And this is the Doctor Meets Rose. In her Clover Fingering Weight. Which is a 85 Superwash Merino. And a 15% nylon. And it's really soft. And it looks wonderful. And knit up. I felt it. And it was nice. Yeah, she had samples of uh, her yarns knit yeah. up. Which was really nice. She like made like a little blanket sheet mm -hmm. and just had a square of every color. <clears throat> this one is from Bumblebee Acres Fiber Farm. And they're in, they're from Illinois. They're local. Uh, this is Game of Thrones inspired. This is Sansa. And this is in their DK weight, which I love. I cannot wait to make something. Um, this is 75% merino, 25% nylon, DK weight, 4 ply. Somebody awake? Oh, they can barely... <laughs> you want to sit up so people can see you? No. Oh, oh, show them what a big girl you are. Can you stand up? No? No. We Say, can I got dinosaur. Dinosaur pizza. Dinosaur pizza. Her uh, shirt underneath says mom's... Oh, it's cutie a source. She's like, guys, stop. Stop it, guys. Stop it. I'm just waking up. Okay. Oh. And she got her unicorn and she booties on again. Of course, because it's <laughs> it's cold and rainy out. Oh, did you lose your binky? Do, do you need your binky? Are you going to smile at everybody? Can you see the TV over there? Oh, we're going to cry at everybody. Can you snort for them? I love when she snorts. Okay, can you? Okay, thank you. <laughs> this is deep dyed yarns in her tensile braid base. Uh, no lorex. Lorex. Uh, ninety-two percent superwash merino wool, eight percent lorex in the unicorn color, unicorn horn color. So it's got that pop. And I thought this was a really different color for me. She just wants the bottle. I'm almost done. I got two more. I got this giant skein. What do you see up there? Uh, it's a bulky sparkle yarn. It is 90% merino, super wash, 10% silver selena, and super chunky. Uh, approximately 142 yards in here by Hello Pearl, and it's called Lilacism. She wanted to get some of this last year, and 
it didn't work out. No, there was the very little. was taken. And, and Karen and Melissa <coughs> took some. Oh, yeah? <coughs> oh, yeah, you talking? Do you want to tell them about it? Yeah. Okay, just looking at my flowers on the wall. This is my last purchase. And it is Valkyrie. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. This is the Valkyrie yarns, Valkyrie fibers. And this is Alonzi self striping. So I'm very excited about this one. 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon. Okay. That was it. You want to tell about, um, before I show mine, tell about uh, some of the people we met? Who did we meet? I don't remember. <laughs> Ann Tudor. We met Ann Tudor. Molly was there. We saw Molly. He was looking beautiful and pregnant. So round. So We're going to have pictures at the end of... Um, we made her hold Olivia. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't give her much of a choice. <laughs> no, Melissa. <laughs> Melissa and her husband. Would not stop. The <laughs> She wanted to hold Olivia the whole time. The entire time. Uh, entire time, which was fine. <laughs> uh, she just followed behind us, holding her, talking to her. And Olivia's at that stage now when... Uh, you're holding and talking to her. She just like grins this big, you know, gummy <laughs> smile. And so she, uh, she was being really cute and she was talking to Melissa and hun, I need a one. You liked Melissa, didn't you? And then, and then you got to see, uh, Bumblebee Acres. Bumblebee Acres. Mm -hmm. Showed off your hat. Oh, and funny. The funny thing was the lady that I got the cotton from. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, <laughs> You know, I purchased, I'm talking to her, you know, and all of a sudden Melissa turned around with the baby and she's like, wait a second, I know that baby. And she looks at us and she's like, I know that baby. Mm -hmm. I see her on Instagram. I know that baby. And we're like, yeah, for Brains Podcast, she's like, yes, I knew I knew that baby. So didn't recognize us at all, but she knew the baby. <laughs> we thought that was kind of funny. That's wonderful. I yeah. forgot. I have one more thing to show. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Aunt Linda sent me a birthday present. Yes. Um, from the wonderful Treasure Goddess. I like Treasure Goddess. Yeah. I love Treasure Goddess. Well, that's what Goddess that brown here. is that I'm putting with Melissa's. And it's a rainbow shawl kit. Um, so it comes with the rainbow sparkles gradient set. In their Sparkle Toes sock yarn, which is 75% Superwash Merino and 20% nylon, 5% Stellina, it's six skeins, with a total of 492 yards. It's going to be really pretty. And then it has a little pouch in there as well. And then it it's, has for that. Oh, it has a little pouch even? Yeah. There's a little oh, pouch okay. I didn't even see that. Well, it, I put it in there. Knit up me hearties, yo ho. <laughs> and then their little sheep has a pirate hat on and a peg leg. Yeah, I have one of their stitch markers where he's on there. Yeah, <laughs> cute. I think he's saying R. R. Yarn. Yarn. <laughs> Yarn. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to turn into a pirate in just a second with that hair bow. You want to go see mommy while grandma shows yarn? <gasps> How my little peanut? Oh, oh nice. Oh. All over my glasses. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. I can't see a thing. She sprayed me, guys. She hungry. Okay. <laughs> I'll be able to see now. Alright. So I didn't I didn't go crazy. I was very well behaved. Um Oh, I didn't, this was an acquisition too when I forgot to show it that I actually purchased. <laughs> a little gizmo. I had to get a little gizmo enamel pen. That was, uh, I ordered it when I got your two, uh, pens. Oh. So, that's gonna go in my fringe bag. Just because he's so darn cute. I got him from Wish, so. It was like free and a dollar shipping or something. So, can't go wrong. 
All right, so from Ann Tudor. Hey, baby girl. Hi. You're missing the big old smile. I can see him. <gasps> what are you doing? <laughs> so from Ann, I got the alpaca marker. Back in there. And then for yarn. Okay, I didn't do too much damage. I was really, really well behaved. In fact, they said something to me because, um, wasn't it both you and Karen? Well, I think all of you said something. What, you're not getting that? Every yeah. time I pick something up. Oh, you're not going to get that? Because I only got two, three, four, five skeins. I did buy the cotton for, um, her sweater, but we decided that didn't count. No. So, I got a self-striping from Spotted Circus on their Sparkle Sock. It's 75% uh, Merino, 20% Nylon, 5% Lorex, Stormy Skies. And that knitted up looks so yes. good. Yes. This one's going to be really pretty. Too. I might actually, um, you know what? I think this is going to uh, be what goes in Jenny's bag. I yeah. think I'm going to cake this up. Yeah. Then I got, see, I was going for, and I had said I was going to get self-striping. I was going to get stuff that was different. Mm -hmm. um, hey, don't get fussy. And, and I really did. And I got um, dyers that I hadn't experienced before. So this is Toe Creations, and it's on her sparkle, which is the Lorex as well. And I got Christmas in July. And this is gorgeous. And this was actually um, the first one I picked up. Well, then Melissa had picked up another one, and I had really wanted it. And she decided against it. And I don't even think it hit, a hit the table. And I was like, oh, good, because I wanted that. And that is Midnight Trickster. So these were both very different for me. Then, and I don't have the name of that shawl. Shoot. Oh, you get Then I bought a self-striping. It's called Scout's Honor. And I'm going to pair it with, because there's the shawl that you use self-striping. And then you use a tonal, and I can't remember the name of it. I meant to look it up again, and I forgot. I'm going to pair it with uh, Molly's yarn, Sweet Tea Yarns, and it's called Caramel Latte. So these two are going are going together as a shawl. Which is going to be perfect. So I actually had a plan for two of my skeins. Look at me go. Look at you go. Look at me go. Yes, I was very conservative. I was not. Well, I did... No, you were pretty good for what we've been in the past. Yeah. Um, we were both very well behaved. But you have to uh, start to get that way when your yarn stash is overflowing. Yeah. Although, I've been very good and I have been knitting quite a bit um, out of my stash. And I haven't been purchasing as much neither. Um, which is I, yeah, I haven't thing. been purchasing like anything, so. My thing is, is when I purchase now, it really has to be, um, something different. And I got different, so. Alright, so that's all of that. So, anything new in the last two weeks, Alicia? Um, <laughs> it was my wedding anniversary. And your birthday. And my birthday. And Philip's birthday. So we, uh, and Easter. So yeah. Easter, we went out to eat with you guys. And then we took little one out to his dad's side of the family so they can meet her. And then we... 
What did we do for our anniversary? We did nothing. I was like, you didn't do anything. We didn't do anything for our anniversary. Um, he didn't get home until late, that's why. Yeah. Uh, my birthday, I worked. And then on his, on his birthday, we went to go see Avengers. And then we went to Lou Malnati's Pizza. And then we watched Game of Thrones. <laughs> Which, I mean, if anyone wants to talk about either of those, I'm up for that. I know uh, Laura wants to talk about... Laura wants to talk about... Which she went and saw... I don't know if she went and saw it again or for the first time last night. Oh, she had to have seen it again because I think she had already seen it because she had posted like a day or two ago about uh, really we need to talk about this with somebody. So, must have been her second time seeing it. For three hours, it didn't seem like three hours. That's all I'll say. <laughs> and it, it, you can tell that it was written by people who cared about the characters and their storylines. That's about it. That's all I'll say. Game of Thrones. Arya's awesome. Let's just say that. All right. So. I knitted. I knitted quite a bit. Work is going decent. All my dances are done. All my costumes came in. This is mom. Quit taking that away from me. Um, well, okay. So this is a diff different nipple size. Because all of her bottles were dirty. So she is not liking the amount of holes that are on the top of the nipple. Yeah. So she keeps on pushing it away. Because it's too much. She gets a little over it. She's like, oh my god, too much. Yeah. Oh my god, too much. All right. <clears throat> How's yours? Yeah. Nothing new. We're knitting. Moo Moo got sick. Well, not really sick. Um, she go to the vet twice. Hi! She likes those flowers. <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> um, You're your daddy's daughter. Moo Moo had to go to the vet twice. Um, all of a sudden she started like walking sideways and scooching back in the corners. Just acting really weird. Of course, her vet wasn't in, so we saw somebody that didn't know her, was not helpful, so she then had another episode that night, so the next morning I brought her in to her vet that actually knows her, and basically what was going on is her kneecaps used to float in and out, well now they're not going in at all, so her kneecaps are not in place at all, so they just kind of move around in her little leg, which is causing inflammation and pain. So, she's now on um, anti-inflammatories and will be for the rest of her life because obviously the knees are not going to get any better. She's doing much better though, so that's good. She's kind of back to her normal self, not doing any odd behavior, that sort of thing. So, um, And what stunk was, she started this at the end of the week, so she couldn't go to the groomer. So, in the long run, she ended up stinking. Bad, too, wasn't she? She was bad. Yeah. You know it's bad when I'm holding her like this. I'm like, I don't, I don't even want her up against me. <coughs> What's she doing? What's Grandma's girl doing? Is we telling him about Moo Moo? I know. I didn't show off my necklace. Oh, yes. You got I, don't know if I, I don't know if I can get up close enough. Do you want me to take her? Maybe. Oh, come here, Peanut. Do do Grandma girl. Who's that Grandma's girl? Yes. I know you like my flower. Oh, the, that shows up pretty good. Please don't look at my pimple. Um, <laughs> look at your pimple, guys. It's I, huge. No, it's like popped and red and scabby. Um, so, we got this made. On the top, it has her birthday, February 1st, 2019. And then below, it says Olivia Grace. And then in the center, it is her footprint. Part of her foot. That was our my birthday present. Philip got it for me, but I went and picked it out, and I'm I went and paid for Say, it. Look at my little chins. Look at my chins. Look at those little chins. 
Look at Dolly Jane. <laughs> yeah. Do you go tell him? Say, I got chins. Do you go tell everybody? Say, I got chins. Uh, just like mommy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know. Are you talking to them? Are you telling them to knit faster? Huh? <laughs> tell them say knit faster. Do you go and tell them? Hum his chins and cheeks. Toot 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 toot. Toot 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 toot. No? <laughs> all right, so I think that's all we have for today. I think so. So remember, um, to enter into the three pattern giveaway by commenting what you're looking forward to this summer. Um, join into our knit along. As always, if you haven't, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. Hit the um, little bell. It'll notify you when we uh, put out a new video of any type. Nope. She's a <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we will see you guys in two weeks two weeks bye